here's a great little journal uh, that I made. It's a smaller one. Uh, there's only a few signatures in it. Uh, but what fun you can have with this. So I love the front because this is from uh, a dictionary from the 1920s and I love that this page had two nature images on it. Uh, the little turtle and the bird here. I'm just going to do the ribbon. And I, You know what I like is these little holes here are actually where the cloth binding was done on the inside of the dictionary page. I've done a little bead work here just to give it some bling. And I love this is the inside of a, a little book that I've made into a pocket for a journaling tag. Again, you can journal on the fronts and the backs of the tags. And look at this adorable little photograph here. You can see on the back that it's been pulled out of an old, old photo album. A little girl on a chair. <laughs> Shouldn't look too happy, but she's pretty darn cute. And we have some journaling pages here. Most of these uh, ones that I've hand dyed. There we go. And there's a little tuck spot here so you can put more of your journaling pages in here. For now, I'm going to add this little dictionary page tag. And behind it, you'll notice that was a, a really fun sewing pattern insert. We've got some old invoices here. Again, the pattern's here. And I made this flower out of an old book page. This is from uh, a bookkeeping ledger uh, from the 1920s. So it's, it's a little, a little uh, delicate, but definitely you can write on that and enjoy that. Look at this old photograph. I just love this. So what a nice uh, gift to give maybe a bride-to-be. She can uh, keep her uh, wedding planning notes in here. Or it's just a really interesting photo. And it's, again, the back is a postcard because back then they used to uh, send out their photos when they had them made by mail. Here's a little spot for your journaling inserts held in by a ribbon. There's another one of those great little ledger pages. You can see the original staple marks there. And this is an old um, flashcard from the 40s, which I think is fun. Another journaling pages and an old uh, children's songbook. Took a page out of that. And on the back side of that, music everywhere. There's another little journaling tag here. And this came from a botanical book. And this is hilarious. This, I love, it's from an old cookbook. <laughs> Probably from the 60s, 70s. Potato salad for a crowd. <laughs> this is from an old uh, book about Cuba. This one here. And this great little postcard. You can journal on the back of that, attached to um, an old book page. Again, more of that really fantastic journaling. And I like, like this one because it has the uh, hand-stamped number on it. And some doily instructions, very old flower frost doily instructions, and a nice little journaling spot there, held in by a doily. These are more crocheting instructions, and that beautiful ledger again. Here's a little tuck spot with a tag, so you can journal anywhere there's blank space, you can fill it with your words. This one also has an extra little fold out. And then this is just a file folder that I've uh, dyed. So you can journal in there. There's more of that old cookbook. Botanicals, some index cards here for you to write on. And then more journaling pages. And this is a great old uh, page out of a bird book, which I love. So that little guy there is only $35. And you'll see the back is just as interesting as, as the front. I just love it. There's only one, so first come, first serve. Thanks.